Here we have Terrence Gardapi, Blackfeet artist. Hi Terrence. Hi, how are you? Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your work. Alright, uh, my name is Terrence Gardapi, last gun. I'm a member of the Blackfeet Nation of Browning, Montana, Northern Montana. Also a member of the um, Blackfoot Confederacy with the other tribes in Canada. And do a lot of stuff up there also, besides in the States. Um, I was born and raised in Browning. Um, went to school there. I went to high school in an uh, Indian boarding school in Flandreau, South Dakota. But all the time, since third grade up until I went to Flandreau, I was always doing artwork in my in, in school. And, um, I got in trouble for doing artwork too because I should be doing classwork. <laughs> but art was always in my blood and I had cousins and uncles that were very good artists on my mother's side and my father's side. So art kind of ran inside my, my blood basically. And um, I saw a lot of other artists you know, in magazines as a young uh, Blackfeet artist going to school and things like that. I would see other natives in um, art shows or art magazines and I knew one day that I wanted to be like them. And I tried to figure out as a young boy, how can I live off my artwork? Because I love drawing and painting so much, I want to make that into a living. And um, as I grew older, and ended up going to the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe, New Mexico for art school, I uh, really got into seeing all these different styles of art from different tribes, different color concepts. So I absorbed all that stuff while I was there and then fused it into my drawings and my paintings. So a lot of these are real bright but um, the colors also represent different emotions and things like that inside me as a painter, as an artist. So um, as a Blackfeet member of the Blackfeet Nation, I really want to promote our tribe, promote our belief system, promote who we are as a tribal people, as a, a powerful war nation back in the day. And I want to bring all that stuff to the, into the future and show people that know nothing of us who we are who we were back in the days when we lived in teepees and who we are in a modern time. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, some Blackfeet are unfortunate, they don't know some of the symbols, but as artists, we can share that information even with our own people that don't understand certain things and the outside world mm -hmm. and give them a better understanding of who we are as Blackfeet. So, yeah. Very good. Um, are you enjoying your time here at the NACDC sponsored? Yes. Um, I'm really happy and, and, and proud to be a part of this native art show because, well, for one, there hasn't been a native art show in, in, in the Russell market for a while, mm -hmm. and we kind of all got scattered and went to different shows, or some native artists just stopped coming all together. And um, this small group here, which is all the Kani people, Blackfeet people, is, is really um, uplifting to me because I don't live in Browning, I don't live back home, so a lot of the times I'm very isolated from my own tribe, you know just doing artwork and things like that Thank and you. doing other shows where I'm selling with other tribes different different races of natives which is great but this is awesome to be around my own people and, and be sharing my work with them and um, you know and proud to be a Blackfeet proud to be a Bikani and share our beliefs our power and our spiritual strength with the outside world definitely would you encourage other artists to participate other native artists yeah, I, um, to this show here, mm -hmm. yes, I would, you know, because, I mean, as as artists, it's, it's tough sometimes because we're here to sell, you know, and, and you, you want to sell, and it costs money to get booth fees and things like that. So that's just part of being an artist, but if you want to be a professional artist and really make it happen and go for it, you got to, like, make things happen for yourself because if you just sit back and think, oh, these things are going to come to me or I'm going to get invited to such and such show, which could happen, but you got to do the legwork. You got to mm -hmm. market yourself, basically branding yourself as a Pakani artist, a Blackfeet artist, mm -hmm. and say, "This is who I am, and this is who we are, and I want to share this with you." And you'll be surprised that so many people are really fascinated with the Blackfeet Nation. They're, they're, they want to know our symbols and our straight-up headdresses. Very powerful symbol. I mean, all headdresses are beautiful and powerful, but the Blackfoot one, the straight up, is very powerful. I mean. I'm biased, but yeah, it's <laughs> awesome, you know, and our designs, our teepee designs. And for me as a Blackfeet doing ledger art, I have an advantage over a lot of my friends doing this style of art because they don't have as many designs as the Blackfeet do. Our lodges are fully painted, you know, we have all these symbols and protection designs, and they do too, but ours are real prominent and real noticeable. So when you see my art, it's not only I'm representing my tribe, you know, 
proud to be a black leader. I'm also representing our spiritual power that we still hold on to. We still know it. It's still being able to be used. So, um, yeah, so I'm very, very happy. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Terrence, no for problem. your time and enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. But okay. I encourage all the Blackfeet, young Blackfeet artists, keep it up. Come see me sometime if you want to ask questions of shows across the country. And um, I want more Blackfeet to do more art. Young guys coming up, young girls, you know, don't give up on your dreams because they can happen and you can go far with your art, represent your tribe, your family, your ancestors. So, it's getting much in. Thank you, Terrence. Mm -hmm.